Hi, this is Marla from freetoliveyourdream.com. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about a little problem I'm having with Google+. Plus. Um, yesterday I logged into my uh, Google Plus account and went to my, um, my, my business page and there was this great message that my pa page has been suspended. I, uh, of course, was all freaked out and um, it said that uh, something, you know, you know, the text or images on my page had violated their terms of use or service. And so uh, I clicked on the, the page, the terms of use, and um, looked at looked at the page and, you know, there was nothing illegal, nothing. I wasn't bullying anyone. I wasn't trying to impersonate anyone. Um, no pornography. Um, none, none of the things applied to my page, so I couldn't understand why my page was suspended. Um, so there's a little link you click to have your page reviewed. Um, I clicked that, and then, of course, um, nothing you can do but just wait. It says it can take you know several days for them to review. And then, of course, I went on a massive Google search to try to search, you know, for other people that have had this problem and, you know, what's the process and all that. And, of course, I found tons of horror stories of people having their page suspended for, you know, weeks and months trying to get it turned back on. Um, mostly, it seems like they had big rashes of um, turnoffs because of the uh, real name issue where they, they, for your personal profile, they, you have to use your real name. They do not want you using pseudonames. You have to use your real name. Um, but that was not my issue. Um, this is my business page, and that was not what it said. did not give me a specific reason. It just said, you know, something on my page violated the terms of service. Um, so I um, just waited, and um, about 10 o'clock last night, um, it was... I checked and it was turned back on, but my cover cover image was um, changed back to the default image. So it, I figured it must be my something wrong with the image. Of course, it's not like Facebook; they don't have any rules where it has to be, you know, only 20% text or anything like that. Um, and so, you know, I can't figure out what it is. And of course, they turn it back on; they don't give you any kind of email, no message, no nothing to tell you what it is and that's one thing I found in my Google searches they they it is their policy to not tell you specifically what it is which I find absolutely absurd so that was one you know big complaint they tell you you violated the the terms of service but they don't tell you exactly why so you're left to guess you know well how do I fix it how do you fix something that you don't know what you're doing you don't know what's wrong so Okay, I guess it's the image, but what's wrong with the image? My image is of, you know, this a beautiful picture of the lake, a picture that I took myself, so it can't be that I've, you know, stolen someone's picture. It's my picture, um, unless someone's accused me of that, which I don't know, and I can't, I can't say no, hey, that's my picture if someone's accused me of that, because I don't know if that's what the problem is. It's my picture. Um... I have some text on there with my slogan, you know, uh, free to live your dreams. I have some more text on there about, you know, the services that I do, you know, social media marketing, uh, prospecting, lead generation. How can that be violating a terms of service? There's nothing on there about, you know, having your services on there. And what would that have to do with? That's not illegal. That's not, you know... <laughs> Pornography. I mean, how can that be violating the terms of service? So I have no idea what about my image is making it get suspended. So what do I do? Do I put the image back up do and, and have it get suspended again, possibly? Or was it a mistake? I don't know. So what do I do? You know, so my only recourse, you cannot contact them. There's no email to contact them. I just, they have a forum that you can um, post in. And hopefully, maybe someone will answer. And it's not not necessarily um, someone from Google, but there's people that help and give advice. And I I think that they can escalate it to someone on Google, from what I can find out. So I have put a post in there. I'm hoping to get a response with some suggestions, um, because I'm you know I'm trying to help other people with their Google Plus pages. How can I help them if I don't know, you know what is acceptable and what's not? I have done so much searching 
on the you know search engines to try to find anything about acceptable cover images and there is nothing out there it's very frustrating I cannot find anything out there on the search engines anywhere so I just wanted to let you know about this I will keep you updated as I find anything else out and uh, if there's if you want some more information more tips click the link below and I will keep you posted see you next time